What up, YouTubers? It's your boy Nerdy Red 23. How are y'all doing out there? I'm here to talk about Prince releasing his third album, Dirty Mind, of October 8th, 1980. This album just turned 44 years old, and this album is still a funky classic. And to let y'all know, it was released through, you know, Warner Brothers Records. And um, <clears throat> the album is notable for Prince's increasing reliance on rock music elements, higher register vocals, sexually explicit lyrical themes, and an android golden, android golden image. Critics have hailed its fusion of John Rez for influencing urban black music of the early 1980s and its lyrics for influencing more sexuality explicit music. The first single off the album from Dirty Mind, Uptown, reached number five on both Billboard Hot Soul Singles and the Billboard National Disco Action Top 30 charts. Although the album only reached number 45 on the Billboard 200, it was met with widespread critical acclaim. The album has retrospectively been ranked by Pitchfork and Slant. I mean, yeah, Slant as one of the greatest... Uh, of the 1980s and by Rolling Stone and NME as one of the greatest albums of all time. And a, it's a fusion of, you know, funk and new wave and R&B and dance. Dirty Mind also contains like more rock oriented beats than Prince's previous albums, as well as the elements of punk rock on the track Sister. Half of the songs were composed by Prince on tour when he and his band had a, a slot for opening for Rick James at the time. And the album was recorded in a makeshift 16-track studio in the basement of Prince's home on Lake Minna, Minnetonka, Minnetonka with Prince engineering the album himself. Credited under the pseudonym, pseudonym Jamie Starr, sessions occurred in May and June 1980 with Prince playing nearly all the instruments himself and several of the songs were recorded in one night and the album consists and contrasted with Prince's previous ones and its raw and unpolished production style with several of the tracks being essentially demos the production presents a clean sound with minimal distortion 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 or reverb more akin it's power to its power of pop or punk rock Barry Walters of Pitchfork later observed that where areas Prince is a seven I mean, uh, Prince's 70s albums proclaimed to his versity, versity, versity. Here, he achieves much more by confining himself to the simplest, boldest strokes. It is the only Prince album to not feature a slow jam. This album will always be a classic, man. You got amazing hits on this album. This album has hits right here. Check that out. You got songs like, of course, the title track, Dirty Mind, When You Were Mine, Do It All Night, Got a Broken Heart Again, Uptown, Head, Sister, and Party Up. This is a classic, man. Classic record by Prince. Nobody could ever make a classic and play the instruments how the way Prince played it, man. Prince was just, he was just phenomenal, incredible on his work, man. He was a workaholic. That's why he's a legend right here. Album's immaculate too. Ooh, look at that! And I did buy this record at um, Rasta Cowboy Records way back. I bought it uh, maybe about like five or six years ago, I would say. Happy to own this masterpiece. This is a classic forever by Prince. What is your favorite song off the album? Don't forget to hit that like and uh, subscribe and comment. <clears throat> and I'll definitely get back to y'all in the next video. Stay blessed and stay safe, y'all. Keep playing this classic by Prince. I know it's a crazy cover, but yeah. Peace, y'all.